Welcome to Society of Amateur Radio Astronomers. Radio Astronomy, Constants, Variables, and Formulas. Lesson 15, Interpreting Stokes Parameters. Stokes Parameters are a set of values that describe the polarization state of electromagnetic radiation. It's characterized by the Poincare sphere, which is a three-dimensional representation of the polarization vector. IP, is the intensity of the polarization, while 2 psi represents the horizontal angle and 2 chi represents the vertical angle. Another convention you will see is S0 equals I for intensity, S1 equals Q, S2 equals U, and S3 equals V. The polarization ellipse. This describes the polarization on the XY plane. Note that chi controls the width of the ellipse while psi controls the orientation of the ellipse. Formulas. S0 equals the intensity. S1, S2, and S3 have the following formulas. P is the degree of polarization. And on the other side, you have the two psi is equal to arctan of S2 over S1, and two chi is equal to the arctan of S3 over the square root of S1 squared plus S2 squared. Let's look at linear and uh, uh, horizontal and vertical polarization. To get polarization, horizontal polarization, psi equals zero or 180 degrees. Vertical polarization, psi is equal to 90 or 270 degrees. And linear, chi is equal to zero degrees. So you see the polarization diagram to your right. The chi controls the width of the uh, polarization ellipse. If it is zero, that means it's a straight line, which means it'll be linear. Let's look at a problem. If psi is zero degrees and chi is zero degrees and your P is equal to one, and we'll make uh, S zero as the intensity equal to one. We work out the formulas. S one is equal to one, S two is equal to zero, and S three equals to zero. You see how it looks on, the, on here that equals a straight line horizontal. So that's a representation of linear horizontal polarization. Let's go to right hand and left hand circular polarization. For this, if S3 is greater than zero, it's right hand circular polarized. If S3 is less than zero, it's left hand circular polarized. And in order to be uh, circular polarization, chi has to be greater than zero degrees. You can see over here, the chi controls the width of the ellipse. And if it's greater than zero, that means there is a width of this ellipse. Let's look at a problem there. Psi is equal to zero degrees, chi is equal to 45 degrees. Now note if it's 45 degrees, then this entire thing is 90, and this is now a circle. P equals one, S3 is negative. If it's negative, that means it's left-hand circular polarized. We'll go ahead and make S01 uh, again. And if you work out the formulas, you end up with S1 equals zero, S2 equals zero, and S3 is equal to minus one. Now, psi could be any value between 0 and 360 degrees here, because if this is a circle, it can go all the way around, and it still looks the same. So here's your diagram with a left-hand circular polarization uh, going around this direction. This could also be shown in a vector, where S1, S2, S3 
uh, as zero is down, and that's equal to your IQUV uh, nomenclature. So for an unpolarized signal, S0 is equal to one, and S1, S2, and S3 is equal to zero. Linear polarized horizontal, it'd be one, one, zero, zero. And for vertical, it'd be one minus one, zero, zero. And if you want to go to 45 degrees, one, zero, one, zero, and minus 45 degrees, one, zero, minus one, and zero. For right hand circular polarization, it'd be one, zero, zero, one. Left hand circular polarization, one, zero, zero, minus one. Example one, you observe a radio astronomy object which results in the following Stokes parameters. Draw the resultant polarization diagram. So these values, uh, I made a calculator on Excel that used those formulas so I can enter in the psi and chi values and the intensity or enter in the IQUV values and that would result in the resultant psi and chi values. So if we do uh, I is equal 3.6 jazz keeper beam, which is a common uh, uh, unit value for uh, these uh, values or for these observations, if we use <coughs> I is equal to 3.60 jansky per beam, Q is equal to 2.76 jansky per beam, U is equal to 2.31 jansky per beam, and V is equal to zero jansky per beam. Okay, the first thing we'll note is that V is equal to zero. So this is a linear polarization. Your P which is the square root of your uh, QUV squared over the S over I is equal to one. So this is fully polarized. Uh, since V is equal to zero, chi is also equal to zero. You see on the polarization diagram, if chi is equal to zero, that means it's now a straight line. There is no width to the ellipse. Psi, is equal to one half arc tan u over q. If you work out those values, you get 0.35 radians. To convert that to uh, degrees, you multiply it times 180 degrees over pi, and that's equal to 20 degrees. So you see the diagram over there where you see the psi value of 20 degrees. Example two. We observe another radio astronomy object and we get the following Stokes parameters. Note that V is not equal to zero. So this is circular polarized. P, if you work out that value is equal to one. Therefore it is fully polarized. Chi, if you work out all those values it's equal to 0.262 radians which is equal to 15 degrees. And Psi, is equal to 30 degrees. Note also that since V is greater than zero, it is right-hand circular polarized. So you go over here, you see that the chi value, 15 degrees, gives you a width of the ellipse, and 30 degrees gives you your orientation angle. If you like this video, hit the like button below and, just, and subscribe. Join Sarah to start your hobby of amateur radio astronomy. Go to our website at www.radio-astronomy.org to join. Thank you very much.